So did you think you were done drying your tears after looking at the awful matte finish monitor in front of your face? Well, I got bad news for you because you're about to break out into tears again as I tell you about what could be the clearest monitor ever created. In fact, I'm pretty confident it is. Now, this is the Spectrum One with Gorilla Glass, which was sent to me by Doe for this review. It's their latest monitor that they put out as far as I'm aware. And yes, I do think this is a significant improvement over their previous model, but just because they sent it to me doesn't mean I'm gonna have, you know, the nice soft gloves on. Of course, Doe has had some problems in the past, and I will discuss that at the end of the video. But yeah, I think this is actually a good improvement over their previous glossy version, which I already liked because of the build quality, as well as a bunch of the options that were available in the menu that many other manufacturers don't give you, including BFI and the overall clarity of that display, which honestly blew every other monitor out of the water this is even better. This new Gorilla Glass, guys, is insanely clear. Your reflections in it, if you do shine light on the monitor when it's off and you look at your reflections, are crystal clear, which of course also means that the image coming out of the monitor is going to be crystal clear. I really think this is the clearest monitor I have ever seen in my life. And I actually measured it to be an improvement as well. In terms of its reflection handling, I actually think this is better as well as I did in a high ambient light room measure 4.24 nits of a reflection on the previous model and just 3.6 on the new model, a 15% decrease. Then in the low ambient light, I actually measured a 21% decrease in the reflection in the new Gorilla Glass version. And then in very low ambient light, I was able to measure zero on both. So at a certain point, those are gonna be some very diminishing returns. But as you can see, it does seem to handle reflections a little bit better while being more clear, which is a really, really great thing. And I think it's a great middle ground for us to go forward with as technology for the future. As many people don't like reflections, but also people want to have the clearest image possible. I think this is a far better solution than a matte finish, which absolutely ruins the image. Now, it also did allow for slightly higher brightness, at least on my model, unless this is just a fluke. I actually did measure 7% roughly higher brightness in a 10% and 100% window, and overall roughly 7% higher contrast as well. So we're talking about better reflection handling, more clarity, and higher brightness just by changing to this new Gorilla Glass, at least in my testing. So overall, very, very impressive stuff and a very welcomed improvement over the already very clear glossy version that they've had previously. And I am very excited to see technology like this, guys, because sure, this is already gonna be pretty good on an Edgelet LCD monitor, but Mini LED and OLED have far better contrast and I think would benefit from this technology far more. So when these 4K 240 Hertz OLEDs come out next year, and some of them do get equipped with this Gorilla Glass finish, I think these might be, at least in some aspects, the best OLEDs available because Quantum.OLED will have the advantage when it comes to HDR, in my opinion, but if Doe does get their hands on these MLA 4K 240 Hertz OLEDs and equips them with this Gorilla Glass, in terms of clarity and in terms of handling ambient light, I think these will be significantly better. So I'm very, very excited to see what they do with future monitors. And I do hope that Doe does continue to innovate in the monitor industry as we have been just having these awful matte finish displays for far too long with regular LCD panels that look honestly horrendous, especially when you're trying to ask, you know, well in excess of $1,000. That is ridiculous. The monitor industry is in such a bad state and it's only now starting to get better with these OLED monitors hitting the market with actually good finishes, especially this one. This is the best finish I have ever seen. But enough tickling their nipples. We do also have to address the elephant in the room and that's that, yes, there are a lot of complaints about potential issues with Doe, at least in the past. Now they've told me that they're trying to quote unquote, refund people and make things right. I mean, we can only take them at their word and see what actually happens as time goes on. But I have seen a lot of complaints about people either not receiving their products or not receiving their refunds for orders in the past. So do keep that in mind if you are interested in a display like this. And for that reason, I would only recommend purchasing this through one of the retailers like B&H where you can hopefully get better support and I would not wanna purchase this straight from their website or pre-order a monitor either. It just seems like too much of a risk considering what's gone on in the past. So hopefully they can continue to prove themselves as time goes on as I do really want to see them do well and continue to innovate. But if that didn't turn you off, 
I will have a link in the description below to the new Gorilla Glass model, as yes, I do think this is the clearest display I have ever seen. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.